Hello everyone, welcome back to the Obby Space Program. Uh, I've got a guest with me, my chief engineer. Would you like to introduce yourself, nickname, or real name? It's up to you. Who are you talking to? Um, I'm talking to myself. Uh, actually, I'm talking to Kerbin. Oh, okay. This, this Kerbin right here. I'm Buffy, by the way. Buffy. Say hello, Buffy. Hey, how's it going? And everyone knows this is Ominator. I've updated my version uh, to version point two, so we're going to see how this works out. And with that, I lost all of my previous work with the, uh, the previous ship, so uh, I'm going to have to start over again. Although, I do have a save game here. There's nothing nothing there yet. I haven't built anything. So, and when it comes with a new little flag here, so you can create your own custom flag. It's kind of cool. No, no, no. So, this is... Uh, we've got a few more options here now. Uh, before we only had a couple of capsules, but now we can make unmanned uh, vehicles. So I'm thinking, instead of putting people at risk, maybe we should put up Sputnik. Stay Putnik, Mark II. That's, that's a horrible play on words. Fortune favors the bull. I'm just joking. I, I don't know. Just would be safe for those people. I, I think so. Or should, we, or should we have a Mark III cockpit that has three curves? and risk three people's lives instead. Uh, well, we'll, we'll save that to a later on. We'll, we're going to mess up around with maybe one of these Tell you what you're going to do now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I'm talking about the whole if you crash, you can start the crash. Oh, yes. If a Kerbal, if a Kerbin or Kerbal or whatever they call it, I don't even know it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to call them Kerbals from now on. Um, if a Kerbal dies, uh, I'm going to restart my entire space program from scratch. Um, it's kind of like my Obby Core series. We'll call this the Kerbal Core. And um, I don't know. We're going to see how it works out. Uh, but basically, I'm going to try to make my best effort to keep people alive. It's not fair. To, it's not fair to these guys. I mean, look at them. They're just hopeless little green guys, right? So anyway, so we've got uh, the standard. State Putnik uh, module, and it does the same thing as a command module does, uh, but allows you to control the ship. So, with that, we're going to try to make ourselves, I think, a communication satellite. Actually, that would be in the way for uh, too small. There we go. We're going to try this. This is going to be our system of control. Looks a little interesting. Uh, so to top it off, we're going to get that. We're going to do some utilities here. I remember there being some sort of antenna. Is that in the science division? Yeah, there it is. Communicatron. So when this extends... Oh no, that's not it. This is it. This is like a little radar dish that pops up. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe we'll have some Communicatron snap to angles. We'll have four. No, two. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. You probably knew that from the previous video. Don't laugh too hard. Don't laugh too hard. Chocolate. That's all. No, okay. Not that I can say much. I'm going about this all the wrong way. We're going to start off with creating a body before we do anything. So we'll go with this body. Actually, no. We're going to do a small... Is that how small we can get? What is that? That's a fuel tank. Man, I need to experiment with this quite a bit, don't I? That's the RCS fuel tank. That will not help us. Uh, I think that one's a little too big. <laughs> Might get us to the moon. Um, actually, why don't we just go with one of the smaller ones then? If okay, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna. Oops, why is that down there now? Oh, now I lost it. Okay, we'll start from scratch. Nope, we want this one. And then, did that make more sense? Not that angle. There you go. There we go. It was off center. This one was actually didn't exist. It was in ghost mode, so I couldn't snap it to it. There we go. Okay, so this is a control module of some sort, and we're going to go back to the science division, and we're going to get ourselves that array. And that being said, we can now snap. Why is that not snapping? Oh, there we go. So we'll have that, and we're going to need a source of electrical power, because these things run on electricity instead of Kerbals. Kerbins, Kerbodians, Kerber, whatever you want to call them, I, I don't know. There's an avionics package. We don't need avionics, do we? No. So we are looking for a way to produce power. Now there's a couple ways to do it. We can have these rechargeable battery packs, and there's these larger battery packs, but I think we're only going to have enough room for the smaller ones here. 
So we're going to keep those under there. Look what it says on there. Batman. Batman batteries. That's a good touch. I love it. You know, like, you got these set of little things. It's pretty awesome. Uh, panels. So larger battery save. Curiosity save. Larger battery. Don't know. Well, still Batman. It's a 9 volt dish. <laughs> That's a 9 volt. These are double A's. <laughs> That's all we can afford in this space program. Sorry, guys. Uh, so these solar panels without the heavy casing. There we go. We don't need anything heavy. We just want something simple. So if we put that there, they will extend out into solar panels. Um, and in case there's no solar energy or in the vicinity, or to put these things on here are, what are they called? Radioisotope thermal electric. Thermal electric radioisotope generators. Whatever that means. Maybe, maybe you know what it means. We will put them down like that. Keep them nice and tucked away. What do you think? Uh -huh. Good so far? Okay. Next, we're going to have to find some sort of connection to make this. Can we have a housing around it? Unfortunately, I don't believe so, unless we are to put... Actually, I think we can. I think you're... Well, this is the adapter I was wanting. Uh, that's for the uh, shuttle. Yeah, I think that might be the wrong one. It's just the... No, that's too big. Well, maybe it's not. And then oh, we'll put a nose cone on top like this. Can we do that? Maybe not on top of this thing. Maybe this thing is a one shot and you can't put anything on top of it. Awesome. At least that's what I'm getting. It doesn't have any connection points as you can see. True. Is there any way we can have a housing around it though? Like what's that bottom set of that? Yeah. No, that's just an engine on this. Really <coughs> that doesn't look like it's going to work. No, I don't think so. We could have a wing connector and we could fake it like that. There, there's your housing. What? You got your fins too. <laughs> no, can we get that in the middle? Probably not. Okay, let's let's just let's just try that. We'll, we'll shoot it up like this. I don't think we can actually put a cone on here unless we were to get rid of this and put it on the side or something. Like that maybe. There three. you go. Yeah, that one work. Put it right there. Yeah. Well, then we're gonna have like quad. Quad antennas. Quad antennas. Uh, let's... Maybe we need a bigger nose cone. There we go. Oh, you had it. Oh, now you don't. Hey, dude. I got it? No, it's off. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think it is. Good enough. All right. What's here. what's without taking risks, eh? Yes. Alright. Uh favors the bowl, not the crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Well and that's not gonna work because we got too much in the way. Can we even do any of this? No. I think these things are in the way now. Now for you to put that on there. That's after. why that cone not that adapter work. Oh, wait a minute. We're gonna need a decoupler. The antennas are but solar panels. I think this is a bold, uh, a bad idea to begin with. I don't think, uh, I guess you don't know that uh, the aerodynamics don't work as real life right now. Um, so unfortunately, everything is based off of mass. So if this thing is so heavy, um, unfortunately, that means that 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 it's creating more drag, which obviously we know is not the case. Um, it's those that have more surface area. And stuff like that. So, is that what we're gonna do? So, this is science without atmosphere, by the way. Science <coughs> without atmosphere. That looks like a good nose, eh? Yep. It's. Interesting. It looks like a shuttle nose, but I think it'll work. Oh, we need to put those other generators back on. Those, uh. Where are they? Utility. There we go. Just in case. Like that. That was kind of neat. That's not bad. Okay, we'll go with it. We're going to roll with it. We're going to move on before the audience gets bored here. <laughs> or maybe we need... Uh, no, that's a fuel tank underneath here, isn't it? Yes. We need some sort of propulsion for it. 
There you go. I like it. Perfect. Might be 50. Uh, I don't know. Okay, maybe. No. We maybe need just a small booster like that. It's just something to, to, to get this thing moving. Like, this is all that it's going to be moving. And I mean, the center mass is here, and the mass ball should be, you know, relative to the actual mass. Uh, we're also going to need some way to move ourselves around. So we're going to need, like, the... Where is it? The Arcea Control. Too big. That's too big. That was too big. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Thrusters. This is a tiny satellite, but we've got like massive amounts of thrusters and stuff. So this will help it turn and move in all directions, and this will help it boost for the short amount of duration that this fuel tank will allow. How much fuel is in there? Liquid fuel, 5.73. So not to use to be used to put it into orbit. Check. That's used to move it around, I think, at the best. Uh, we're also going to need to decouple that, because we want this to be a separate entity, right? So to decouple that, we're... Structure. All we need... Or is it this one? That... I think it's because the other one, the other device on top, there's no connection to it. Okay. For some reason, that looks kind of weird. Okay, let's put that there. That looks stable. Everything's connected and holding it into place. There we go. As soon as we decouple it, this will be free. And now we're working on the part of the body. What well, part of this? Okay, we've got the main satellite. Now we need a part to get it into... Okay, hello. I just want to move the whole thing up. How do I do that? Uh-oh. Select all. There it is. I gotta select a fuel tank. For some reason, that's the main body. Uh, we have to get it into stable orbit. So this is going to be a small piece. It doesn't need to be huge. We'll just go something like that. And we'll give it this engine. And we're going to need to decouple that. Uh, there we go. See, this is what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. Unfortunately, it didn't do it for the rest. So, oh well. Uh, so we got that. Now that we've got ourselves... This, this is into orbit, making the orbit. Um, now we need to get it up and out of the atmosphere. That's, that's the stage we're building now. Um, hmm. Is there a way that we can just... No, it's a little off center. Where is that one we were using? No, it's okay. Can you go back to the construction tab. Uh, structural? Yep. Yeah. On the left, fifth from the bottom. There she be. There she be. Good snack, good snack. See, this is why I hired I do what I can. Alright, so maybe we'll just do the jumbo fuel tank. Think that'll be good? Yeah. With L jumbo. That's not jumbo enough. We want L. Mucho grande. We want the mainsail engine. Oh, look, cover matches too. That's pretty good. I think it's designed for that. Yeah, maybe. Um, okay, then we're going to need... We're going to put some rocket boosters on the edges here. Solid state? For the solid state engines, and that'll help it get up in the air. And it bugs me, but I know it makes absolutely no difference by doing this, but I'm going to do... Actually, you know what? Yeah, no, when, when is someone... Do the, the actual ones have these? Yes. Okay. Well, there you go. You make it look cool. The only thing that doesn't look cool is the top of this. This is... You'd be atrocious here. Some of them don't. Actually. For the solid state boosters, some do not. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let's get rid of them. That's just extra weight in this game. Uh, we're going to take a deluxe winglet. We're going to make sure it's centered. So that'll be our initial control. And... 
you were pointing out that uh, the problem with it before was... Wait, this is decoupled, right? This will decouple this thing and this all at once. Yes. That's what we want, right? Yes. Well, you have decouplers in the solid state, so that should be good. Decouplers in the solid state, and then do we want the liquid, or do we want liquid at the same time? That's the question. I'm going to say solid state first, wouldn't you? We'll, well, we'll try it initially by itself, and then this after. So, we, like it is here, booster, in, uh, separate, and then this, the liquid. And then after that liquid's gone, we'll separate and... We're going to separate and boost at the same time. We'll separate and boost at the same time. Actually, no, we want that to be a separate one. We want these to fly away before we start boosting this. Yep. So we got that. Those are throwaway decouplers, right? Yes. Sure. I hope. Yeah. We're, we're going to find out pretty soon. There's no curbles to risk here. It's okay. Oh, yeah. We could just go with it. Um, it I'm thinking... Like my computer. Standard command. No, Should we have anything lighter. up here? Like, yeah, I was going to say. Something light, something small. Tail fin? No. We don't tail fins. Winglet. That could work. You don't want it too, too low, though, because you're going to couple it right at the bottom. So right in the first danger line, yeah. This is the couple. This is where the engine will be. So that's where it'll be. It's not that small right here. Where is... Oops. Where's the center mass when we're at this stage? It's right there. So we're going to want... This will be a, one of the later stages. Actually, this is not going to be in the atmosphere, really. Not going to work. Should I? Oops. Should I have these here instead? Because this is going to be with us a lot longer than the solid state. True. We don't want someone. Maybe someone here as well. Maybe. Oh, you might be all right. Can you control them while it's at that stage? Yeah, it might, might be a little bit too much. I have no idea what the weight is. There's no actual indication of how heavy this is, except for the individual parts. It tells you total mass up on the top there. Um, and that's in mega megagrams. They don't use kilograms. They use megagrams. Um, that's kind of weird. They don't even tell you what the unit is, so you can't really. Well, they're kerbals. Maybe it's in milligrams. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's it's actually lighter than we think. Maybe there's actually no gravity, and they're just pretending that there's gravity here. Okay, that is not centered, that's bugging me. There we go. Okay, so that'll stay there, and that'll be the control for when we're up in about... I'm gonna need some fuel for that stage. We Don't you need have some RCS fuel, it's a different kind of fuel. Oops. The RCS fuel is something for this, so that'll be a different So I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. Yeah, that's the thing I'm thinking of. Is this yours? Yes. Honorable thought. Okay. Hmm. It's for a uh, once you reach space. Yeah. You want the smallest tank possible. What do we got here? What's this one? Unconventionally shaped but undoubtedly a fuel tank. Liquid fuel, oxidizer driving. So it's liquid fuel. That's all it is. This is not what we want. We've got a fuel tank, but we don't have anything for these RCS modules. Oh well, you know what? We're spending way too much time in here. Why don't we just launch it as is? Let's see how it works out. We are going to attach to the bottom, as we found from our previous mistakes. Or should I say my previous mistake? That's why you hired me, folks. We'll bring this down to the ground. That's good enough. Close enough. There we go. So we've got center lift, mass, all down the center, we should be good. Hopefully it's controllable and we don't have any issues. Did you want to put a fin on the uh, fuel tank for the second stage? Oh yes, that is a good point. Again, it's a good reason I hired you. You're kind of like this guy here, he's checking the checklist, you know, making sure you're doing, your, doing my job, or that I'm doing my job. Uh, how about we do this instead? And then we put a wing connector. Get rid of that for now. Then we 
just get rid of this. Huh. Well, it should be okay. Let's find out. I don't know. We're gonna find out, that's for sure. And... We're gonna need some lights, because I want to be able to see this thing while it's up in there. We'll recharge the battery. And does it ring battery? No, I might do that instead of this. Oh, it's too late. You know what? Launch. We're launching. Oh, we're gonna call this... AX1. The Obby Satellite. Okay. Mark 1. I'm not even gonna call it Mark 1, because there's gonna be too many marks. I know this isn't gonna be good. Well, maybe with your help we made it. Let's see here. We're loading? I'm ready to leave if it doesn't work. You ready to leave? I'll fire you if it doesn't work. I know, that's what I meant. Now, the one poor thing that I didn't like about this particular update is that we're missing the con tower. It's completely gone. All we've got are these little support beams. Like, that's, that's nowhere near as cool. Though, we've got our little flag here. And it looks like we've got... Liquid nitrogen? Fuel? Something? But this is probably fuel here. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's all there, but I think oh. it's water for the uh, to cool down everything once the jet is going or the rocket's going. Yeah. Okay, so we want to release these at the same time, don't we? We don't. We don't need to wait for it. these. We know these are going to initiate, so we got that. They'll blast. Then they'll separate. Then we've got our liquid fuel. Then the liquid fuel will separate at the same time of blasting the middle rocket, and then that should bring us to our final stage right here. And there's no parachute. We don't need a parachute. If it fails, it fails. We got a bunch of expensive equipment. Who cares? It'll just blow up. All right. You want to do the honors? Countdown? Sure. Three, two, one. Ooh, she's a heavy piece. That's not what I was expecting. Hey, look at the ball go! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Huh. Let's, uh, let's bring ourselves off. Now, were the two projections off at the same time? Yes. No, they were not. I, I did that. Um, and now we're covering this. Turn, turn, turn. No. Oh, there it is. And... We're gonna break it. What the hell is that thing doing? It's slow down, slow down. It's slowing down, it's slowing down, but it's not going to be enough. Is it going to be enough? It's going to be no. No. That would definitely be a crash. <laughs> so is that. I don't know, there's something else over there. It's, it's all over the place. It's a mess. <laughs> we're going to go back to the vehicle assembly building. We're going to try that again. Sorry, I'm, I'll see myself out. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? Hey, these starts look great, great. If, if we had control. <laughs> I'm a yes man, just accept it. <laughs> uh, That's too I think big. Uh, what do we need? Where's the standard? That's the standard. Where's the small one? There is small control surfaces. Here we go. Um, from the outermost surface. There you go. These didn't move at all. I'm going to use what I'm. Let's see, does it tell you if it's actually movable or tail fin, what's creating standard canard? What's that one? Hard maneuvering may cause unintended stage separation. Okay. That looks like it has separation there. What does it say? Moving parts. <laughs> That's what we want. We actually want moving parts here. Okay, is that where we want it? Yeah, that should be okay. And now that we have control services here, we only have one. We want enough? We need more than one. one of each. Oh, did I not symmetry that? No, my bad. Still learning the game. There we go. How's that? 
different. Okay, we'll try. Sounds good. Ah, uh, round two. Save launch. Clear the launch pad. Jesus. So I'm picky these days. It's okay, it's only taxpayer money. I don't know how much the Kirpins pay in taxes. That'd be interesting to find out. Okay, throttle all the way up. Oh, and we're initialized. We're gonna have stability. Hopefully this will work. And oh, we didn't change that, so we'll have that at the same time. That will separate and then this will go. The reason that it didn't work out. separate properly is because I separated it before it was finished its burn, so it just blew right past everything. And this time it's gonna take up the canards. Ah. Uh, that's not gonna be fun. Is there any way we can move the canards to be in line with the other winglets? And yes. then we have the not this time. Alright. Do I have control? I have control. Okay. Is that considered my role? This is gone. We're still speeding up. I don't know why we're writing ourselves. It's not pressing the amount of control switches. I think you can make it this time. I think you're right. Okay. I'm going to cut the engine for now, let her drift. We are definitely going to... Where, where, which way am I pointing? Oh, that's why. I, I'm looking at this going, oh, I need to pull up, I need to pull up. It's because I'm not actually oriented the right way. So we'll do our rollover maneuver. How's that sound? Yep. Sounds good. Watch your, uh, your orbit the tests. So our apoapsis is 10. Yeah, it's starting to slow down. Why don't we start boosting in this direction? Full speed. Are we in the Milky Way here? Are we in the Kirby Way? Oh, ho, 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 this is. Yeah, if I just get control of it. Oh, and it's gone. Okay, so now the second stage. Or last stage, I should say. This should be the most stable of stages, I would hope. Considering how large those currents are. We've almost got it. We just need to stay here. Actually, we just need to wait until we get to this point, and then we'll blast in that direction. So. I think we're good. I think we have finally made an orbit. Thank you, my friend. I'm shaking. You're very welcome. Shaking his hand for his help. The second attempt at this first uh, first rocket or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to time warp this a little bit. See about getting to our apoapsis. It's a pretty high orbit. It's 500,000 meters. 500 kilometers above the Earth. Okay, so there we're at their apoapsis. And we're going to go for an orbital burn. What direction are we pointing now? This is the direction that we're traveling in here. And this will be a prograde burn. So we point ourselves here. There's no automatic stability in this thing, unfortunately. So we'll throttle up. And then we'll 
we'll see you at uh, periapsis in a moment. Okay. There we go. We have ourselves a stable orbit. Now we're going to try to get this... Actually, we're going to stop it at 200. And then when I get around here, I'm going to retrograde it and bring it back down to 200. Because I don't think we need to be up this high. It's uh, a good view. Time lapse a little bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, as you can see, the little X in here indicates that this is the retrograde burn. So we're going to burn this way until this comes down to about 200. That's a pretty job done. Pretty good orbit here. Now, we're going to hit Control L, and this is, I believe, going to lock the stage. Is that how that works? So that I don't accidentally separate. I don't know if that's actually true, if it actually worked there, but. Um, that being said, we need to initiate our probe here. So we're going to extend the panels. There we go, it's automatically pointing towards the sun. Let's point ourselves to the sun so that we don't have to worry about that. Which way is it? It's this way, isn't it? Okay. Or should we point ourselves down to the ground? Uh, we the, haven't had much luck with that. This is a, a communication satellite, so we probably oh, that's want... That's a very good point. Probably want us pointing relatively at the... Uh, Although, are you setting it up for your future moon orbit? Oh, I don't know. So we'll toggle that. Beautiful, look at that. And then, last things is these antennas. Communicatrons. And there we go. We have ourselves a communication satellite, and I'm going to leave this on here so that we can burn it back into the atmosphere if we wanted to. You are slowly losing altitude, you notice. Yes, but I'm out of the atmosphere completely, so there's nothing slowing me down. I uh, will get down to 205, and then I'll climb back up again to, where is it here, 221. So it's not a perfect orbit, so I think it's close enough. I think we're good. I think this was a successful endeavor. No, well done. I probably want to send this... There we go. This will be down pointing at the space station as we fly over top of it. Though it's not really pointing at the sun, is it? Pointing directly away from it. So this, this solar panel should get a good enough charge. And in fact, let's check out the charge of the batteries here. 100%. Alright, so is there a way to actually lock this? I'm just, I don't want to click something by mistake and have this thing fly off. Because this, the well, this will be, yeah, <laughs> this will be forever in this orbit until I intercept it if I disengage this right now, which is the problem. So, uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to space center. We're going to leave that there. We're going to click on this, and this will show us everything that's in orbit. Ah, the obvious satellite. That's awesome. All right. I don't have much to add, but that is very cool. So now that we have that, uh, we'll call that a success. We'll stop the recording here. Thank you again for your help, and uh, we'll continue on our merry way. I, I guess next time we're going to try something crazy and wacky that's completely off-center. A shuttle. I'm in. With, uh, with the rocket boosters on the sides and fuel and all. Like the standard typical shuttle that you'd see nowadays. So we're going to give that a try, and uh, I'll stop talking myself now. All right, there you go. What? All right. Huh? What? And uh, see you guys later.